pastor of Biomedia United Methodist Church. Welcome to Hope and Prayer for Our World on this Thursday at noon. I want to begin with some definitions. The topic today is still, S-T-I-L-L. Still is an adjective, not moving or making a sound. It's also a noun, deep silence and calm stillness. It's an adverb, who knew? Up to and including the present or the time mentioned. It also is an adverb, meaning nevertheless or all the same. It's even a verb, make or become still, quieten. And then there are many synonyms, which you should be familiar with for the word still, quiet, silent, hushed, soundless, noiseless, undisturbed, calm, tranquil, peaceful, serene. Be still means to relax. That's what I'd like for you to do as I talk to you a little bit about still and where it's found in the Bible and places where we may know most of what the passage might be, but maybe we'll learn a little something from it too. Psalm 46 is known to many of us. It's known to many people. And often we lift out verse 1 that says, He says, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. We lift that out because it makes us feel good. It helps us be assured that God is with us, looking out for us. And if we have a problem, we can call on him and he's there to help us. It assures us that we're not alone and that when we're in trouble, God will help us. But we tend to skip rest of the verses in Psalm 46, with one exception, which I'll get to in a few minutes. But these remaining verses, 2 through 9 and 11, tell us when and where God will help us. And they assure us that God is ever-present through everything that we're going through. They tell us what God has done and what God will do for us. It gives us situations that could happen in life. And I think you'll find in a few minutes when I read the entire Psalm, all 11 short verses, that it applies to us today in our world where so many things are going on, maybe in our own communities, maybe in our state, maybe in our nation, or maybe somewhere far away around the world in more than one place. Verse 10 is the other exception. We lift that one out too, because it is the one that says, he says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Verse 10 assures us that God is to be, re to be revered in all the world, all the world over by all people. God is in control. It also tells us that in that short verse. And then the closing verse, verse 11, clearly says that God Almighty is with us and is our fortress protecting us from all that comes against us. Think about it. This one place in the Bible, in the book of Psalms, Psalm 46, gives us assurance that God is with us all the time, that God will take care of us in times of trouble, no matter what on earth happens. He's our fortress. He is our protector. He wants us to be still and know that he is God because he is exalted throughout the world and on the earth. Psalm 46, all of it, all 11 verses, is a favorite of mine because it's a clear reminder that God is always with me and always with all of you through ever what may be going on in our lives at any given moment. I do have some notes. And the page won't turn. There it went. 20 years ago, Almost 20 years ago on 9-11, I was attending an event 
And when it came time for someone to read a scripture, the one who was to read didn't know what to read. And someone said, just open your Bible. And she opened her Bible. And she read the passage on that page. That passage was Psalm 46, 1 through 11. She read it in its entirety. I don't believe that any other scripture could have given us the calmness and tranquility that that passage gave us on that tragic day, 9-11. That passage reminded us that God was with us in that moment and whatever moments were to come because everything had not yet happened at the time of that meeting. The two planes had crashed into the two towers. But the people were still flying around on the plane over Pennsylvania. It gives me goosebumps just thinking about it. That was still going on, and we were all waiting to hear what happened. And she read that verse. It calmed us. It gave us peace and reminded us that God is with us in every moment, no matter what's going on in our world, near or far are right in front of us. It gave us peace. I want to read that passage to you now. I'm going to read it from a new international version of the Bible. Psalm 46. It was in the Bible, you know, it tells us who wrote it and what it's for. And it says it's for the director of music of the sons of Korah, according to Alamoth. A song. God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. I'm going to stop a moment. This reminds me of the hurricane Henri, who has been causing havoc all the way up the coast and the storms that hit Tennessee. Continuing in verse 4, there's a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her in that city. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. Does that sound like the news? He lifts his voice. The earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done. The desolations he's brought on the earth. He makes war cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. He says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. This is the word of God for the people. Does that give you hope? Does that give you strength? Does it give you a refuge? It gives me a refuge. It gives me strength and it gives me courage to face whatever life may bring me, whether it's illness, a tornado, a hurricane coming all the way into Arkansas, or things happening around the world that affect me, the pandemic, all of these things could cause a lot of fear in all our lives. But God is our refuge and our strength and never had present help in times of trouble. It's fitting for us now as we continue to grapple with the pandemic, the many, same, many of the same things about which the psalmist wrote. There's no need for me to name them. You know all that's going on in our world. We know what they are. And the list is growing. Perhaps in the middle of all these things, we can discover a way 
to do something every day for just a few minutes, to carve out a space of time, a space of time to spend with God, to be still, to pray, to read his word, to read Psalm 46, and to reflect on the words of the psalm. Perhaps we'll draw closer to God and remember more often that God is with us every moment of every day. We can whisper his name. We can shout his name. We can have a private conversation with God about our troubles, about our joys, about our lives, about things that we don't share with anyone else. We can have that conversation with God. Perhaps some will come to know God for the first time through this psalm. Maybe that's you. Remember verses 1 and 10, if you remember nothing else. Hear them again. Verse 1, God is our refuge and our strength and ever-present help in trouble. And verse 10, he says, be still. And know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Be assured. Be assured that God has your back and mine in all things. Be still and get to know him better. Pray with me. Almighty God, thank you for being our fortress and ever, have, and ever present help in all things. Lead us in the paths that you would have us to go. In the precious name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Thank you for being with me on this Thursday at noon and a time for hope and prayer for our world. I hope that you're with us on Sunday morning at 11 o'clock. You can find us on YouTube at Biomeda United Methodist Church and on Facebook at Biomeda UMC and also on Thursdays at 12 noon Biomeda United Methodist Church on YouTube, Biomeda UMC on Facebook. Until we meet again, I'm Reverend Nan Nelson, pastor of Biomeda United Methodist Church. May God bless you. Amen.